Okay? And there. And three or four fingers sitting on top of that breastbone. Now, Kira, I only need three because Kira's got a substantial front. Her, her, her whole front assembly comes way out in front. But I am telling you, because I own that dog his whole lifetime, and Tintinabulation and a whole lot of the others, um, even Sherman, were right, this breastbone here met this lip when I had them stacking. So that's how bad our front ends are. If you are going over a dog or seeing them in a show ring, this, now of course, everybody grows all this hair out. Hello? So with all this bushy hair out, your eye makes it look like their front end is here, but you go put your, watch the judges when they have these dogs on the table, when they go into the front. If you see a judge go like this, where's the breastbone? <laughs> yeah, we can trim in that breastbone to be correct, and that's exactly what they are doing with this big loopy circle that we leave. Why do we leave it? Well, because our dogs have to be groomed to match the breed standard of our breed, right? So, from the corner of this lip, straight down, is where this breastbone should be. And if it's not, then we have to make an optical illusion that that's where it is. So, don't breed standard poodles. Don't breed out the body parts that make this a flushing spaniel hunting dog. Poodles originated as a flushing retriever, believe it or not. And look what mankind has done to them. It's horrid. We, uh, we, I, w I was part of the process of bringing poodles into the AKC Spaniel Hunt Testing Program and everybody's like, a poodle! Well, hello. Now the history of that breed. How about, how, people ask, why do they have those funny balls at their feet? And the rear end, well, in, in the day when they were a water retrieving dog, okay, they deliberately left. Okay, balls here. Troy, stand up. Let's pretend you're a poodle. Okay, okay, they left balls of hair here. You've seen it at the show ring right here. Well, what is there? The hip joint. Okay, what is here? Okay. The bend of pastern on the front leg. So what they were doing is they were leaving the hair to protect the joints so the joints would stay warmer when the dogs were doing their water retrieve work. So hair here, hair around the hock joint, hair around this pastern joint, and then they would leave hair in the front part again to give the dog protection from water and to allow the dog to stay warmer when it was doing water work. Then everything else was trimmed away because their hair got gnarly and kind of like a corded pulley would be in its natural state. So there you are, a little bit of history about poodles because they really were, they really were hunting dogs to begin with. So we let them into our AKC hunt test program. I am very, very happy to say that I, have, I as a judge, have given junior and senior legs to poodles and their owners. And those dogs found, flushed, retrieved, and did water work as good as any Springer could. They hunt like a poodle, not like a Columbus Spaniel. That's a whole different video. Okay, stay. The minute I let go of her, we're like over here. Her, her love affair with this camera will be over. So. There is Troy. There is a beautiful head. Nice lips. Great pigment. Beautiful. If you look over top of this dog, and I don't know if the camera can show you that, this is a square. Don't for forget this. It's a flat, square top skull. Nice eyebrows. Good high arch. And that's bone. Yes, we leave the hair there, but she really does have a really high bone there. Moderate stop, big, nice flues. Yeah, for an American bred bitch, decent, very decent planing on this bitch. Yeah, right. Uh, and when I say that is that 
go on Facebook to all your European friends' pages and look at their springers. <laughs> and this flat plane here matches their nose being flat in a profile. Jesse James also had that. Uh, on my new page, my new Facebook page, which matches the YouTube page, Dog Tricks of the Trade, up in the left-hand corner is a profile picture of Jesse James. And, of course, I did that deliberately because that is the perfect English Springer Spaniel in profile. That dog had an exquisite headpiece. Wasn't one thing about it that I could fault. Exquisite. Perfect. So that's why I have it up there. Show everybody what they should look like. Okay. Well, that's. I think that's going to turn out way better than grooming a black dog. And we have to thank Troy, one of my big hotshot hunters with 16 performance titles. She got her final one as a therapy dog. So she's a real sweetheart too. So we're gonna say goodbye on this segment. And yeah, I think it's late enough. I'm gonna go get myself a glass of wine. Got some in the refrigerator here and it's hot because the coffee has definitely worn off and the wine hasn't kicked in yet. So now that I'm done with her, we're going to say goodbye, and I'll see you the next segment.